If you've been listening to meteorologist Nathan Scott, we're now less than a year. You don't need to be reminded from a solar eclipse that will see two thirds of the state in the path of what's called totality. And this event is going to bring thousands of people from all over the world here. Now, THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how the Arkansas Tourism Board is working with cities like Cabot to prepare. The experts are telling us to expect at least half of our population and visitors during that time. Which comes out to around 14,000 visitors in the city of Cabot. The city's chamber president and CEO, Gina Jones, tells me meeting with Arkansas Tourism Monday morning helped them prepare for what's to come. We just want to make sure and bring awareness to this. We don't want people to take it lightly. Um, it could be a huge thing for Cabot and, and all of Arkansas, really. Jones says it could be a huge boost for businesses in the city, too. We're excited about it and can't wait to see what happens. Jessica Ledbetter with Arkansas Tourism says most campsites are already fully booked a year in advance and hotels are starting to fill up. We're really seeing numbers already starting to come in. We're seeing, you know, conventions and tour companies and things like that putting their names on the books for really big groups to come into Arkansas. Even people from other countries. In two weeks, I'm actually doing a site visit all across the state with a tour operator from the United Kingdom who wants to come in and stay in Arkansas, and she's just trying to pick the perfect place. Arkansas Tourism is preparing for hundreds of thousands, if not a million visitors to come see the eclipse in Arkansas. Ledbetter says the next steps are working with RDOT and utility companies to figure out some logistics leading up to the big day. You don't want the sun to go down and all of your lights to be on an automatic dimmer where when the lights go off, when the sun goes down, your lights come on. And managing traffic is a big priority too. We don't want them to have to just park on the side of the road and watch the eclipse overhead and then be stuck in traffic. So we want everywhere in Arkansas to be aware that, hey, this is coming and you should be prepared for it. In Cabot, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. Joan says the chamber is looking to have some kind of special eclipse event, but no details on what that would look like just yet. A lot of parties are being planned. If you want more information on the eclipse, we'll have it on our website, THV 11.com.